What's up everyone, Chris from Full Steam Designs. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys an easy project that you can make on your Xtool D1 that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna be using the new 40 watt D1 Pro and some MDF from the material packs. We're going to be engraving part of this and then cutting it out. I went ahead and painted this piece white. I'll put links in the description to the paint and materials that I'm using. The first thing we need to do is get the machine set up properly. I'll start by setting the Z height. X tool makes this easy with this little foot. You just lower the head until it touches the foot and you're done. Next I'll set the X and Y by just manually moving the machine. You can also jog it in the program, but this is a lot faster for this demo. X tool has these really handy crosshairs that help you line this up. I'll just put it in the lower left corner. The final thing I like to do is frame the design. This will ensure that it fits and it's where you want on your material. Now real quick, let's jump into the software. And as you can see, I've got my logo brought in already and there's two different colors. So I've set this outline, it's in black, and that's just a line. So I've got that named cutout. It's a line and it's gonna move at 600 millimeters per minute at 100% power. Then the blue is the actual logo and that's gonna be a fill. So it's gonna fill this whole thing in and that's 6,000 millimeters per minute at 20% power. Now, the important thing is where we set the X and Y location. So when I select both of these colors here, you can see this little green dot down here, and that is set by this job origin over here, and I've got this set to current position. So that's gonna start right where we set it in the program. And just so you can see how big this is, this model here, up here it says it's about 190 by 150 millimeters. And this work piece here, or this work area here, represents our 400 by 400 millimeter waste board where we can actually cut stuff. So let's go ahead and get this thing cut out. Here's the final piece. This came out really great. I just finished it off with a little bit of clear lacquer. Xtool has some really great deals going on right now if you're interested in getting one of these machines. I'll put links in the description. It would really help me out if you guys took a look at those. I'd also really appreciate if you guys clicked that like button, left a comment, and shared this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see everyone over on one of these other videos.